Chapter 2501, Underground Demon God, 11, Seeing that everyone had already left, Yi Kington sighed with relief, they had just made it, they would be in great danger if they hadn't, but she suddenly saw something out of the corners of her eyes, the Blood Moon Elder was staring at her in surprise, what are you still doing here? She looked at him and frowned, why was he still here, holy lady? Where should I be if not here? He was confused and wasn't sure what just happened, including where he currently was, why didn't you leave with them? She asked, holy lady, not only do I not know them, I want to stay with you, why would I follow them? The Blood Moon Elder said as a matter of factly, the corners of Ye Kington's mouth twitched, she wanted to refute him but had no idea what to say. I got squeezed out just now, or I would already have left, the big yellow dog said unhappily, hearing its words, Yi Kington smiled and said, big yellow dog. You can't leave, what am I supposed to do if you leave, me? The big yellow dog said as it looked at Yi Kington, I hope you're not thinking that I can help you deal with these human elders, I believe in you, you will be able to do it, she said, the big yellow dog said, you might believe in me but I don't believe in myself, I think we should run away, they already sealed the exit and want to kill us, no, if I continue to follow you, will they not spare me as well, I think that's possible, the blood moon elder said as he nodded, big yellow dog, what did you say the elders were doing, Yi Kington asked, the big yellow dog wagged his tail and looked upwards at the sky again, there seems to be a huge altar with the elders surrounding it and they look like they are doing a ceremony, one of them is looking at us, he says that a dog is looking at them, the big yellow dog said, Yi Kington was speechless, there was no need for it to say that last part, he's also saying that his lord is returning to that world soon and that the person in the temple of Paragon should already be dead so it's the best time to destroy it, the big yellow dog continued, but the information it was telling her this time was extremely important, apart from the mention of the mysterious person they wanted to revive, they also mentioned the temple of Paragon, Yi Kington pondered this and gradually realized the plot they had for the Wailing Well, they were the ones behind it all in Universe City, the Wailing Well required fresh blood, so they had used the martial arts competition to transport people from various colleges into the Wailing Well, it seemed like they were also merely nourishment, holy lady, why do I feel that? This is a huge matter? The Blood Moon Elder said as he looked at her, even though he wasn't sure what exactly was happening. He could tell from their actions that this was a huge matter, Yi Kington didn't explain anything and merely looked up at the sky lost in thought, the elder that the big yellow dog was talking about had not appeared to care about finishing them off, which likely meant that they had more pressing concerns, go, Yi Kington didn't even turn back, she had to seize this opportunity to save herself, hash, chapter 2502, underground demon god, 12, I should find a kennel to live in now, the big yellow dog said as it looked around, but Yi Kington scooped it up and left the place quickly with Blood Moon Elder, holy lady, please slow down, I can't keep up, the Blood Moon Elder was already panting, his new body was nothing compared to his old one and he was still very weak, Yi Kington grew impatient as she saw this, with that, she grabbed his arm and ran with him, half an hour later, they arrived at an area deep in the forest, even though she had no idea what ceremony the elders that the big yellow dog had spoken of were carrying out, they probably had no time to deal with them right now, so she was going to seize this opportunity to recover the connection she had with the deity ocean, the more she connected to the deity ocean, the more beneficial it was for her, if she were to meet with a dangerous situation, she could escape into the deity ocean quickly and her life would temporarily be safe from danger. Did you realize that all the monsters from before are all gone? The big yellow dog wagged his tail as he told Yi Kington, Yi Kington thought about what the big yellow dog said and realized that it was true, the above emperor level monsters that had been in the wailing well were all nowhere to be found now, perhaps we're lucky and just haven't run into them, Yi Kington said after some hesitation, I don't think so, the big yellow dog wagged his tail and continued, I still remember how they smell, but it's completely vanished now, actually, it's more accurate to say that it has now concentrated into one area, and seems to be growing stronger rapidly, you're telling me that, 
Those monsters are becoming some sort of nourishment? Yi Qingtong said with a frown. The big yellow dog didn't refute this. It seemed to be the case. Above emperor level monsters? The Blood Moon Elder said with a dark expression. He had just been revived. Couldn't they let him live for just two more days? His heart couldn't take such a shock. The elder that the big yellow dog was talking about previously had spoken about reviving someone important. That person was probably in the wailing well in the dead people as well as the terrifyingly scary above emperor level monster were likely all nourishment for that important person. Yi Kington had an ominous feeling in her heart. Who is this person? Holy lady, we have to find a way to leave this place. I feel like we will die if we continue staying here. The Blood Moon Elder was worrying at the side. Was he about to die when he had just been revived? He didn't want to die just like that. At least in the first domain, he died heroically. But this time he was going to die before even understanding the situation. At that moment, Yi Kington glanced at Blood Moon Elder. If she was able to leave, she would have already. Why would she still be here? Don't worry, I'm here. After a long while, Yi Kington said slowly, just as she said that. Sounds of rumbling could be heard from the distant mountains. The ground started shaking after a while as well. Hash, Chapter 2503, Underground Demon God, 13. The giant trees around them were starting to collapse and the rumbling of the ground around them was getting worse. Holy lady, what's happening? The Blood Moon Elder was extremely surprised. The shaking was too great. But more than that, the Blood Moon Elder could feel a terrible and great power slowly recovering and with it brought a heavy sense of oppression, as though a real demon god was rising. The Blood Moon Elder was soaked in a cold sweat. Under the oppressive power, he was breathless and extremely pale. It wasn't just him. Yi Kington was feeling the discomfort rise from within her as cold sweat started to bead her forehead. Whether it was in this life or her previous one, this was the first time she had felt such a terrifying aura. Under this aura, she was unable to muster even an ounce of resistance and even wanted to kneel and worship it. Is this an illusion? The Blood Moon Elder looked terrified. He couldn't fathom how such an unbelievably great power could exist. Who was the owner of this aura? Even E. Kington was starting to suspect that this wasn't just an illusion. This aura was way too terrifying. The above emperor level monsters were mere ants compared to this giant. We're done for, we're done for, we're done for. We are thoroughly done for this time. I really didn't expect to die so quickly after being brought back to life. How frustrating. The Blood Moon Elder slapped his leg in annoyance. He was feeling a little aggrieved about his revival. He seemed to think of something as he said that and his gaze quickly landed on the big yellow dog. Brother K9. Do you have any way of dealing with the owner of this aura? The big yellow dog wagged his tail after hearing that and said, if this was the past, I would have killed it in just one bite. The blood moon elder stared at the big yellow dog in awe and gave it a thumbs up. Brother K9, you're amazing. I can't even describe my admiration for you. What about now? Now? The big yellow dog pondered for a moment before finally speaking. Now. Can't you see that I'm just a dog? I don't think you're expecting a dog to do anything. Hearing that, the Blood Moon Elder stared at the big yellow dog blankly. What did it mean? It used to be able to kill it with just one bite but now it was just a dog. Hadn't it always been a dog? Boom. Without waiting for the Blood Moon Elder to say another word, the ground shook as the hills and rivers split apart. The sound was so loud that it made one's ears throb in pain. Run. Yi Kington had no time to think any further. She grabbed the big yellow dog and the blood moon elder and quickly sprinted out of there. Boom. Standing on the barren land, they noticed a huge hole within the wailing well. In front of their naked eyes, a huge arm burst forth from the ground and pierced the sky. It was surrounded by green tendons and was grabbing at the sky blindly. It happened to grab an elder near the altar. The elder was nothing in the palm of its hand. No matter how hard he struggled, he wasn't able to break free and was trapped in it like a rabbit in a cage. Hash, Chapter 2504, Underground Demon God, 14. The elder's expression changed at once. He knew that this lord had just been awoken and the actions were likely subconscious. But why was he so unlucky? Lord, my lord. Our slowly elders were tasked with reviving you. Please have mercy. Realizing that there was no escape, 
the elder started shouting at the top of his lungs in despair, but it was only one arm piercing through the ground, so how could it possibly hear anything? Without giving the old man any more chances to speak, the giant hand slowly clenched. In an instant, the old man was crushed into a pool of blood that oozed out of its fingers. The situation made the elders above the void frown. A few elders quickly retreated, afraid of being caught by the grasping hands. Swoosh. At the same time, a huge hand grabbed at Yi Kingtung and the others like a lively python. Oh my god. Seeing this, the Blood Moon Elder was stunned. What was this demon? It was too terrifying. The Elder from before was just slightly stronger than the Holy Lady by about one level, but the Demon Palm had crushed in so effortlessly in an instant. If that Elder couldn't even resist and was as weak as a little kid in front of the Demon, there was no way the Holy Lady and he would be able to survive. Holy Lady, please run. I will hold this beast back. The Blood Moon Elder said hurriedly as he turned to look at Yi Kington. A deep frown was on her face. Even though the Demon Palm was moving extremely quickly, there was still some distance between them. She knew what would happen if they were to be wrapped in the Demon's Palm. Like the Elder before them, there was no way they would survive. It was attacking its own people, let alone her, the Blood Moon Elder and a dog. She took a deep breath and a dark look filled her eyes. She didn't want to die in this godforsaken place. Seeing the demon palm approaching quicker and quicker, Yi Kington's face darkened. After pondering for a moment, she concluded that there was no way to deal with the demon palm. She could only make contact with the deity ocean within her again and enter the deity ocean's space. She was feeling extremely helpless. She had never imagined that she would have to enter the deity ocean space again just after leaving it. But she had no choice if she wanted to live. After all, the demon palm was too terrifying and this was her only option. Holy lady, please run. The Blood Moon Elder shouted as he saw her standing still without moving. Did she not see how terrifying the Demon Palm was? Yi Kington looked at Blood Moon Elder and took a deep breath, grabbing the big yellow dog with both hands. She placed her left hand on the Blood Moon Elder's shoulder. You're always carrying me like this. It's so embarrassing for me, the big yellow dog said unhappily. Yi Kington had no intention of arguing with it at such a time. It would be great if they could get out of this place alive. Who cares whether it was embarrassing? She quickly contacted the deity ocean within herself and prepared to enter the space. Holy. Do you plan on having all of us die here? The Blood Moon Elder couldn't understand what she was doing. Die together? No thank you. Put me down first. We can talk things out. It's fine if you die but I'm just a dog. Please don't bring me along with you. There's still hope for me. The big yellow dog quickly said. Hash. Chapter 2505. Divine Concealment Reappears. 1. What are you muttering about? Are you done? Every time she tried to make contact with the deity ocean, there would be this dog and person interrupting her, which was making her impatient. Seeing that she was getting irritated, the big yellow dog and the blood moon elder looked at each other. Even though they wanted to say more, they decided to shut their mouths in the end. Seeing that the big yellow dog and the blood moon elder were finally not running their mouths anymore, Yi Kington shut her eyes and concentrated hard on making contact with the deity ocean. It's coming, it's coming. In the time span of a few breaths, the Blood Moon Elder noticed that the Demon Palm was only a few hundred meters away from them. They would be trapped in just one more breath. As soon as the words were out of the Blood Moon Elder's mouth, Yi Kington opened her eyes and a clear cold light shone from them. How? She was shocked. She had clearly made contact with the Deity Ocean but why was she still in the Wailing Well and not within the Deity Ocean space? How was this possible? There was no time for her to think. The demon palm was already in front of her. There would be no time to make contact with the deity ocean again. But just as she thought that their lives were over, the demon palm paused right in front of their very eyes, as though it had lost its target. It started swinging back and forth, as though searching for something. Confusion filled the blood moon elder's face. What was happening to the demon palm? Was it showing mercy and letting them go? But how was that possible? Could it be? Yi Kington bonded. She knew that the deity ocean within her body had two kinds of power. The first was that whenever she made contact with it, she could enter the deity ocean's space. The second ability had almost already been forgotten by her, 
but it still existed, the divine concealment spell, it allowed them to completely conceal their aura as well as their bodies, but this power had only revealed itself once before and had never worked about after that, the sudden appearance of this spell surprised her, she had already expected to enter the deity ocean space as long as she contacted it and had completely forgotten that it had the power to conceal as well, holy lady, why has the demon palm stopped? The Blood Moon Elder looked at her in confusion, this is the Divine Concealment spell, the Big Yellow Dog said, Divine Concealment spell, what does that mean? The Blood Moon Elder said as he regained his senses, it means that we are concealed and no one can see us, the Big Yellow Dog explained, concealed? The Blood Moon Elder found this hard to believe and looked down at himself, that's not true, I can still see myself, I can see you and the Holy Lady as well. The Big Yellow Dog threw a glance at him and said, I don't feel like speaking to you, please shut up. Yi King Tung ignored both of them and was in deep thought. She knew that she could bring people into the Deity Ocean space but didn't think that she would be able to use the Divine Concealment spell on the people around her as well. She seemed to be thinking of something as she looked at the Blood Moon Elder, her eyes swiveled to her hand on him and quickly darted away again, in the next second, the Holy Lady and Big Yellow Dog standing in front of the Blood Moon Elder vanished, leaving only himself, Chapter 2506, Divine Concealment Reappears, 2. Before the Blood Moon Elder even had time to react, the demon palm which had lost its target seemed to find a new one and it shot towards the blood moon elder. The blood moon elder's mind went blank as he saw this and he forgot to hide. He suddenly felt someone pat his shoulders lightly. The holy lady and big yellow dog quickly reappeared in front of him. Not only that, the demon palm which was targeting him again stopped as well. Holy lady, what's happening? The blood moon elder was deathly pale. He had almost been frightened to death. Yi Kington looked at Blood Moon Elder, deep in thought. She had just been testing something out. She was wondering why she could bring the Blood Moon Elder and the Big Yellow Dog into the Divine Concealment spell. But now she understood. The Blood Moon Elder and Big Yellow Dog could hide their presence as well because she was touching them while under the spell. It was exactly the same as how she could bring people into the Deity Ocean space as long as she was touching them. But she still had no idea how to decide whether to enter the Deity Ocean space or use the Divine Concealment spell spell when she was making contact with the deity ocean. She didn't know if there were other powers in the deity ocean other than the deity ocean space and divine concealment spell. Dot. At that moment, the distance between the demon palm and Yi Kington's crew was extremely close but it was unable to lock onto them, which made the blood moon elder breathe a sigh of relief. Your deity ocean is pretty good. The big yellow dog who was laying in Yi Kington's arms suddenly said, hearing it say that, she looked at it, she had no idea where the big yellow dog came from but it had impressed her, it was able to immediately understand the divine concealment spell as well as its origin, deity ocean, what deity ocean, holy lady, you possess the deity ocean? The Blood Moon Elder looked at Yi King Tung in shock. The Deity Ocean was not something that anyone could create. It was common knowledge that only those with great power could create it and create another space along with it. Even though His Holy Lady was extremely powerful, to be able to create a Deity Ocean and even one that was inside of her. This was too surprising. Yi King Tung was already used to the Big Yellow Dog knowing everything. As for the Blood Moon Elder, since he was no outsider. She quickly explained the situation around the deity ocean. So this means. The demon space that we were in previously. That was in the holy lady's body? The blood moon elder's expression suddenly changed and he said, holy lady, but if that's the case, the thousands of demons in the space should worship you as a god. You can rule over all the demons and powerful beings in the deity ocean. Hearing his words, the edges of Yi Kington's mouth twitched, of course she knew that, the problem was that she still didn't know how to control the deity ocean, if she could control it fully, wouldn't she already be able to rule over all the creatures in it and be invincible, of course, she wanted this as well but the reality was more difficult, furthermore, they should put aside any questions about the deity ocean now and focus on their next move, hash, chapter 2507, Divine Concealment Reappears, 3, Yi Kington could feel the power of the Divine Concealment spell slowly fading, 
probably due to the issue of her making contact with the deity ocean. Even though it wasn't a TMT fading fast, the spell was going to fade soon if she continued concealing the big yellow dog as well as the blood moon elder. If that happened, there was only death waiting for them. Of course, she had no idea if the demon palm would even kill a dog, but she knew that the big yellow dog would not be able to deal with the demon palm. Moreover, the entity underground had yet to show itself. Just its hand had managed to demonstrate such terrible might, even forcing Yi Kington to use the deity ocean. This was enough to show how powerful it was. A.S. Holy Lady a broken bar is the hand unable to see us now? A.T. The Blood Moon Elder said as he looked at her. Hearing that, the big yellow dog threw him a look and said, A.S. Does that hand look like it has eyes? Even without the divine concealment spell. It would not TMT be able to see us. It exists underground and is using our aura to find us. At AS. So this means that not only do we have to hide ourselves, we have to conceal our auras as well? AT the Blood Moon Elder said in surprise. How was it possible to have powers that could even conceal a near TMS aura in this world? Wouldn't it TMT that make the person invincible? If someone was able to completely hide their presence and aura, wouldn't it TMT this mean that they would be completely invincible? They could escape easily and never be assassinated as well. The big yellow dog nodded slightly and said, Yes you can see it that way. But the reality is different. There exists the perfect concealment spell but not someone who can control it perfectly. At. Just like what the big yellow dog had said, the divine concealment spell was perfect, but the prerequisite to executing it perfectly was that the user had to be flawless. Up till the present day, there were only three people who had been able to use it perfectly. But even these three had not been able to achieve a state of invincibility. To be truly invincible required great power. How would anyone dare to declare themselves invincible just because of the concealment spell? The divine concealment spell was only an adjunct. A.S. How long can you hold on for? A.T. The big yellow dog asked Yi Kington. Hearing that, she shook her head and said, A.S. I'm not sure but not for too long. At. As soon as she had used up the power of the deity ocean, the divine concealment spell would vanish as well. A.S. Holy Lady, the demon palm seems to know where we are. A.T. The Blood Moon Elder saw that the demon palm showed no intentions of distraction and quickly told Yi Kington. Yi Kington could see this clearly even without a reminder from him. She had not even mastered the divine concealment spell properly. Furthermore, the entity hiding underground was no ordinary person. To escape it completely was impossible. The entity could sense where they were but couldn't TMT pinpoint their exact location and capture them, so they were safe for now. A.S. So those two were able to completely conceal their aura broken bar A.T. In the space above them, the elder holding the gold book seemed to be in deep thought. A.S. Ha ha, our lord seems to have fully awoken and seems to have taken an interest in the two of them. A.T. Another elder said with a laugh. Hash, chapter 2508, Divine Concealment Reappears. 4. Although Yi Kington entered the Divine Concealment state, she was still extremely cautious. The power of the Deity Ocean was not inexhaustible. If the power was exhausted, the Divine Concealment spell would disappear as well. There was no need to think about the consequences. However, Yi Kington could not understand why the main body of the owner of the demon palm was still underground and did not appear yet, and why it refused to leave her alone. There was no deep grudge between them and they had never even met before. Moreover, this great underground being had already been successfully revived by those elders. This meant that there was already enough nourishment, so there was no need to continue killing. As such, Yi Kington could only think of one reason. The mysterious underground being was probably an extremely bloodthirsty person when he was alive. Yi Kington had seen many bloodthirsty people in her previous life. They did not need any reason to take your life. Very quickly, Yi Kington retreated with the Blood Moon Elder and the Big Yellow Dog in her divine concealment state. However, when Yi Kington retreated, not only did the Demon Palm not follow her, it quickly retreated. In the next second, the ground began to shake violently once again. It was as if Doomsday had arrived, and a thunderous boom echoed across the sky. Holy Lady, look! 
The Blood Moon Elder pointed ahead in shock. There was no need for the Blood Moon Elder to point it out. Yi Kington already saw the huge head breaking out of the ground. Following that, towering shoulders were revealed. The upper half of the body was like the sky, indomitable and the lower half was like a pillar supporting the sky. Compared to this, Yi Kington and the rest were like insignificant ants. This. This. This is. A demon god. Blood Moon Elder stared at the majestic huge creature in front of him and lost his focus for a moment. Just the sight alone was extremely shocking to his heart. Yi Kington and the Blood Moon Elder did not know what those elders resurrected, but regardless, the aura and pressure of this demon godlike existence was enough to suffocate them. Great Lord, up in the air, several elders were extremely excited when they saw that the demon god below had been completely resurrected. Their efforts had not been in vain. They had finally completed their mission and allowed their great lord to revive from the underground of the Wailing Well. That demon god's eyes were suffused with a cold light, like the flames of the apocalypse. No one dared to look straight at it. The demon godlike existence merely sized up the group of old men before looking away as if he was deep in thought. After a long time, the body of the demon god shrank rapidly as though it was growing backward. In about a dozen breaths time, the demon god's body had shrunk to about ten feet. Even so, it was still incomparably large. Ordinary people could not compare to it. Holy lady, what exactly is that? This is too scary. I have never seen such a scary thing in my life. The Blood Moon Elder looked at Yi Kington. Yi Kington was feeling somewhat exasperated. How would she know what it was? But it did not look like any ordinary being. This group of elders had probably revived some incredible big shot. Although the demon god's aura was extremely terrifying, his body seemed to be in a very weak state as he had just revived and had not reached his peak. Even so, it was obvious that it could kill Yi Kington and the rest as easily as if it was crushing an ant. Hash. Chapter 2509, Divine Concealment Reappears, 5, Yi Kington would not be able to deal with any of the elders, let alone the demon god with fiery eyes. At that moment, the demon god's eyes turned towards Yi Kington and her group. The Blood Moon Elder shuddered. Holy lady, that monster can't see us, right? Aren't we invisible now? It may or may not have seen us. The big yellow dog hid in Yi Kington's arms and wagged its tail. That fellow's skills are not bad. In addition, this little girl is not that proficient in the divine concealment spell. It is very normal for an expert to be able to see through us. What should we do then? The Blood Moon Elder panicked when he heard what the big yellow dog said. He did not want to have a face-to-face -face conversation with that monster. Leave it up to fate. I think someone like him would not stoop to slaughtering a dog. The yellow dog seemed to be lost in thought. Brother K9, you can't think of it that way. Look at that monster. One look and you can tell he's no angel. He's definitely bloodthirsty. He definitely won't let anybody off. Brother K9, we are in dire straits. Please reveal yourself and converse with him, expert to expert. The Blood Moon Elder looked at the big yellow dog anxiously. In the Blood Moon Elder's opinion, this was a dog that had killed an above emperor level monster in one strike. It was definitely someone worthy enough to engage that monster as an equal. I'm not going. The big yellow dog instinctively shrank back. What's the hurry? Yi Kington glanced at the Blood Moon Elder. Weren't they still alive? Furthermore, they were still in their divine concealment state and had not been completely exposed. So what if that demon got knew of their existence? If he could not see them? he would not be able to do anything. Yi Kington did not believe that the demon god, as powerful as he was, could actually destroy them through space. Holy lady, can I ask you something? The Blood Moon Elder asked. Speak. Yi Kington said. Do you have some sort of grudge with that monster? Yi Kington felt her head ache. What grudge? She did not even know him and had never even met him. Number. This is also my first time seeing him, Yi Kington replied honestly. After hearing what Yi Kington said, the Blood Moon Elder nodded and smiled. Holy lady, look, here's what I think. We have no grudge against that monster. We don't know him and have never offended him. There might be some misunderstanding. How about this? Let us ask Brother K9 to talk to him and clear things up. The big yellow dog in Yi Kington's arms immediately glanced at the Blood Moon Elder. Can you still call yourself a man? At that moment, 
Yi Kington was deep in thought, to a certain extent. What the Blood Moon Elder said made sense. They did not know each other. The demon god had already been resurrected and no longer needed nourishment, let alone, there was no deep grudge between them, so there was no need for him to capture them. Why are you looking at me? Let me tell you. Even if you stare until your eyes pop out, I will not talk to that damn thing. I say, have you guys not figured out the situation? I'm just a dog. Is it really appropriate for you two humans to push the burden to a dog? The big yellow dog said hastily when it saw Yi King Tung staring at it. Hash. Chapter 2510, Great Lord Arrives, 1. The Blood Moon Elder and Yi King Tung exchanged glances, and the Blood Moon Elder stared at the big yellow dog. Brother Canine. In my heart, you were never just a dog. You are a powerful practitioner. It is most suitable for you to step up. Get lost. The yellow dog wagged its tail and glared at Blood Moon Elder. Although its skin was thick and it could not be beaten to death it would still feel pain. Who or what in the world would seek out pain for no reason? The big yellow dog was no exception. Before the Blood Moon Elder could say anything, the figure in the distance turned into a ray of light. An all-encompassing aura surrounded him and he appeared beside Yi King Tung and the Blood Moon Elder. Yi King Tung's heart leapt up into her throat. The man had discovered their presence and knew their precise position. It was also at this moment that Yi King Tung finally saw the man's face clearly. Long. Jet black hair flowed loosely behind his back. His face was so handsome that it seemed like it did not belong to the mortal world. His eyes did not bear any human emotions, and a single glance was enough to make one feel like you were falling into an ice cave. It had to be said that this man's looks and figure were truly impeccable. At this moment, the man looked around and remained rooted to the ground. Cold sweat seeped out of the Blood Moon Elder's forehead and he held his breath, not daring to breathe. Yi Kington was deep in thought. It seemed that her previous guess was correct. Although this man could roughly grasp their location, he could not capture them. As long as the divine concealment spell remained, the man could not do anything to them. Unless he could kill them through space. Seeing that the man did not move at all for a long time, the Blood Moon Elder finally felt relieved. Holy lady, this guy can't see us. Ha ha, there's nothing to be afraid of. The Blood Moon Elder looked at Yi King Tung and smiled. However, just as the Blood Moon Elder finished his sentence, a frighteningly cold glint flashed across the man's eyes. Subsequently, a fist shrouded in a black sheen shot towards Yi King Tung and the Blood Moon Elder. Just the draft from that punch was enough to suffocate Yi King Tung and Blood Moon Elder. Their skin felt as though they had been struck by lightning. Almost instinctively, Yi Kington grabbed the Blood Moon Elder and rolled on the ground. A loud boom resounded throughout the entire venue. Following that, the sound of glass shattering could be heard. Yi Kington and the Blood Moon Elder saw that the space where they were previously standing was shattered like a mirror by the man's punch, forming a fist sized black hole. I, Yi Kington's forehead was dripping with sweat. This monster could really kill them through space. Yi King Tung glared at the Blood Moon Elder. Was this guy an idiot? Although they had the divine concealment spell and others could not see them with their naked eyes, it did not mean that the spell could block their voices. The man was only a few meters away from them just now and the Blood Moon Elder was just chattering away. Was he trying to let the man know their exact location? When the Blood Moon Elder was in the first domain back then, he was a terrifying existence. Although he was not that intelligent, he was still considered quite shrewd. What was going on with him now? Why was he starting to reveal his stupidity at such a critical moment? Hash. 